All right, so we are gonna go through the one month inspection. Today is exactly one month from the day that we installed our eight new nukes, including these two backyard experiments. So first, we're gonna get into the wooden hive. And I'm doing a voiceover because I didn't wanna compete with the road noise and the regular neighborhood noise, kids screaming and stuff. Anyway, so you can see here, first frame out, it's one of the four better comb frames. Absolutely nothing on it, they haven't touched it. Here's the second better comb frame. That's where our sensor is installed. Nothing on it. And that's kind of how the other nukes have been as well that we have in wood hives, it's just kind of the standard. Okay, so here, first non better comb frame, and it's a pretty good combination, brood and resource frame. Well, at least the one side was. Um, these new nukes, unlike the uh, previous or the other hives we, we run, they don't seem to make dedicated resource frames and brood frames. It seems like they kind of do hybrid frames where they're just it's just a combination of both. So notice that this specific type of bee we got this time around is just a little bit different in that way. Second frame. Another combination of brood and resources. And I'm just doing a quick check, making sure we've got eggs, larvae, calf brood, and decent amounts of nectar and pollen stored on each frame. This one doesn't look too bad. So that's our second fairly healthy frame. Here we go again, more of the same. You can tell she's got a decent laying pattern. Nothing spectacular, but it looks pretty good. And the, uh, the open cells there in the center actually have eggs in them already, I believe. So they're doing pretty well. So that's the third frame that's got some amount of capped brood. And that's the fifth frame total. So this is the sixth frame. And this is where things start to kind of thin out a bit. This There's pretty much nothing on this. This comb was kind of, I don't know, there's nothing wrong with it, but it was kind of uneven and not real consistent so i think they're fixing it but there's really no brood no resources there so that's frame number six here's frame seven and it's fully drawn you can tell that they've recently drawn more but there's nothing on it completely empty all right going to frame eight same story fully drawn recently worked uh completely empty and then frames 9 and 10 are the other better other two better cones completely untouched i mean they i don't think they've done anything to those better cones so of these six i'm sorry of the 10 frames four better cones completely untouched we have three fully drawn frames that have nothing in them and then we have three frames that do look pretty good but it's really just three frames everything else is pretty much empty not not too different from the other six nukes we installed in wood hives this, and we just we go through those every week so there's a lot of similarities between these seven nukes and wood hives and then the uh, the eighth nuke that we installed a month ago today was the one we put in the concrete hive which is directly adjacent to this one so Putting it back together, looks healthy. I didn't see any hive beetles, didn't see any mites. They seem to be doing fine. And on with the strap, you don't need to see this. And the concrete hive, god dang it's heavy. I'm gonna, I'm speeding through this fast forwarding because it's just me checking out these super frames. I had to add the super last week because they were really packing out the bottom. So these were plastic foundations, plain plastic foundations. And uh, I basically just wanted to see how much they were drawing them out. So these first two frames and just a little bit of buildup, uh, wax drawn out. The third and fourth ones, 
actually had a decent amount of them in the, the uh, two or three in the center. None of them were fully drawn, but some of them were actually pretty close to being drawn out. Uh, so they're doing pretty good. I, I suspect next week or the week after next, uh, a majority of these will be drawn and have honey already in them. So not a whole lot to see here. Just showing you that not only did we already add the super at three weeks, but at four weeks, they've already got a good amount of those super frames drawn. So we're gonna pop off the super now and get into the brood box. Oh my God, it's heavy. All right, you can probably already tell here that there is a healthier population that we're working with. Should give them a little bit of smoke. Hey, there's Jose. Say hi, Jose. Hola. All right. So just like on the wooden hive, our two in frames on each brood is better comb. So frame one and two better comb, nine and 10 are better comb. You can see here, there's already a pretty drastic difference. Uh, not full of, of nectar or honey, but a good amount, especially for being an outside frame. Frame two is loaded. This is better comb. This is also our sensor frame. You saw the delight in my eyes there. She's full. They're gonna start capping that. The backside needs a little bit, of, a little bit of work, but it's uh, it's not far behind. Sit it down gently. All right. Frame three. Lots and lots of capped brood. They they do the kind of. Oh, look at that pattern. My goodness. Uh, this hive also kind of does the, the hybrid resource and brood framing uh, with the pollen and nectar stores in the corners and that circular kind of rainbow effect with the brood in the center. They, they have, I have seen, uh, tend to fill up the brood cells really quickly with resources. There was a frame or two that uh, had recently opened brood cells in the center where a, a bee had recently hatched and they were already completely packed with resources. So I'm not sure. I'm, I'm assuming they're running out of room, but uh, which is why I added the super. I did notice a couple swarm cells or swarm cups, I guess. I think during this whole process, I noticed six swarm cups, but they were all empty. Just getting ready. Lots of bees. The brood pattern here is also pretty good. Uh, oh wait, no, this is the uh, this is the one that doesn't have the cap brood. Sorry, but almost all those cells had eggs in them, so that's gonna look good in a week. Notice another swarm cup there. Back in you go. You can see here. Okay, yeah, this is the one that's got lots of cat brood again. A couple swarm cups. So notice the first two frames had honey. The next three frames are very brood heavy, very healthy looking. Overall, a much more impressive setup. Look right here. See next to that swarm cup, there's a horizontal cell that's got a larva in it. I don't know if that was accidental or if that's a, like a 90 degree reoriented swarm cell. I had never seen one like that before. I'm guessing it was just a, a drone cell or a worker bee cell that happened to find its way on the bottom. I don't know. I got rid of it just in case. I didn't want to take a chance. So where are we? Was that number four? I think so. And here we 
we go again. More of the same. Lots and lots of brood. Lots and lots of eggs. There were hardly any empty cells on these inner frames. I mean, they were completely filled. So hopefully they don't have the swarm instinct kick in. I hope I gave them that super box soon enough, but I just didn't expect to need it after just three weeks. I mean, it's just crazy. Okay, what do we got here? More brood. Brood city. Overall, just really impressed with how well this concrete hive is doing. Um, the sensor data that we've been collecting really, really suggests that the bees are working much less hard to keep the internal temperature of the hive where they want it, which was, which was our hypothesis. I mean, that's kind of why we even started this. We thought that it would give them a, just a more improved work environment. And as such, they are working much more efficiently. Look at that. So what, which frame is this? This is one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Is this the eighth frame? Yeah. So if you're counting, that's six frames that are packed with brood or eggs, and they all have resources filling every empty spot as well. I mean, this couldn't be better. After just four weeks to the day. And now we're back on the last two outside frames, the better comb. Look at that, just full of nectar and pollen. That side needs a, has a little bit of space, but it's kind of hard to tell, but most of that actually does have nectar in it. And then the 10th and final frame, not completely full, but getting close. So just as a reminder, these were the same genetic bees. I mean, these, these nukes were all came from the same bee yard, installed the same day. Same external variables, same weather, obviously. They're sitting side by side. The only difference is wood versus concrete. And, uh, you know, we don't normally expect to have a honey yield on the first year with a nuke. Uh, but we will probably make some honey off this thing this year, even though we didn't plan on it. So we're putting her back together. Not much else to see here. I'm going to do another video if there's any interest in going over the sensor data in detail. But for now, that's all we got for you. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll keep you updated.